Hi, my name is Andrew Dagwell and I am from 8bitdesigns.com um, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up Coda to start developing websites and then later on in the next couple of videos I'm going to be showing you how to actually develop um, websites um, in Coda. So Coda is a PHP, HTML, whatever whatever language you're going to be typing when you're going to be coding in. That's a web editor, built in CSS, visual CSS editor, it's got access to terminal, a couple built-in books that you can view online, site manager, built-in FTP client right here, it has a support for clips, um, tons and tons of stuff. So um, it is $99, it's kind of pricey, but definitely worth it. I've used it non-stop for all my websites. Um, and this is the application I always fall back on. I have tried um, Espresso and a couple other ones are just a plain text editor. And I always find myself falling back to Coda. So it's a great, great application and it's from Panic. And they, you can get them at panic.com. So to set up Coda to start using it with your, um, your website, you're going to want to switch over to the Sites tab. You can see I already have a couple of sites here. And obviously you're not going to have any because you haven't set any up yet. So what you need to do is go down to this bottom section where it says add site and click on that and then you need to give your site a nickname and the nickname is just this little this little tag that's going to show up right here so I'm just going to say test site and then you need a um, root URL so that's actually the location on, on the web where your website is going to be located so we're just going to do for my you want to type in obviously your information I'm going to use my website and um, Local URL, you would want to put this in if you are using an application like MAMP. And what MAMP does is it allows you to um, do MySQL databases, run PHP scripts, all without having to upload your files to a uh, server. And you can actually um, run all your PHP and those other types of more advanced languages and just raw HTML um, actually on your Mac or PC without um, having to upload it to a server. So that way you could have a local version and a remote version which would be the one that's online and um, you could edit the local version and then when you're done editing you can upload it to the live website. That way if people are visiting your website while you're updating it they don't have to see you going through all the changes. But for the purposes of this video I'm going to leave that blank. Um, remote route, this is going to be depending on your web hosting service. I use um, Sponsor, great, great service, unlimited, basically everything, and it's got a great low price. So I have to, you don't have to, but I do public underscore HTML, and that will get me into my actual web contents uh, folder. And if I wanted to, I can make a folder in there and say like test folder. Obviously, there's no folder in there, so that wouldn't work. So we'd have to create that folder first. Um, local root, that's basically. Um, exact same thing as the remote route but we're talking about local like I was saying what the difference between remote and local was. Um, connection, this is the actual FTP information you need to get from your um, web hosting service and you can usually find this under some other FTP section or if you can maybe chat with one of the people that works there and it's usually FTP dot uh, your website and mine was actually originally iwebweavers.com um, that was what my website originally was, and then I switched over to Ambit Designs, and they they weren't able to fit the switch over my my FTP information, um, or else they would have charged me a couple hundred bucks, which is ridiculous. But I don't think they do that anymore. That was an old policy, and I just haven't gone around to change it because they said I have to download my files, back them up, and re-upload them. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. Nobody else nobody else sees it, so it's not a big deal. Um, type in my username. You know, I'll type in my password. So all that information you get from your web hosting service, and most the most likely you're going to leave it at uh, port 21. Protocol for me is FTP. It might be SFTP. That's secure. Um, leave this is Western. Leave that as passive mode. Don't leave that checked. And for terminal, we're going to not worry about that yet. And we're going to worry about source control. Those are more advanced features. So just you need to worry about the site tab and the connecting tab. Let's go ahead and click save. And this little spinny bar will come up and it's actually going to load a little image thumbnail of your website. Let's see if it does that. There we go. So you can actually see that is my website and it just renders in. It's a little nice little uh, 
taped up piece of paper. So you can edit the size of, of your, when you're viewing your sites like this. Right here. You can select one and click the gear icon and edit its um, contents. Or you can press the little I next to it and you can edit all its contents. And then if you want to start and, and start editing a website, all you have to do is double click on that little thumbnail. Open up. It's going to connect with the FTP automatically. You can see I'm actually in my FTP um, public HTML folder right now. And I could make a new file, make all that stuff. I could edit old files, whatever I wanted to do. So that's basically how you need to set up um, you need to set up code to start developing uh, websites. And um, you can have, obviously you can have multiple um, websites. You can rearrange them. It's really easy to use. So now. Um, that's it for this video. Um, check out the next one for uh, simple features of uh, Coda, and I'll teach you through all the little um, buttons and gadgets that it has to offer. And then after that, I'll actually teach you how to, how to uh, start coding your first website or maybe um, just another website in the series that you've already developed. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.